The Samsung Family Hub refrigerator was the talk of Las Vegas when it made its debut at CES last January. Now we've got it here in the CNET Smart Home Kitchen. If you take a look, it's the same four-door build as you'll find at a lot of Samsung's high-end fridges, except it's got this 21 and a half inch Tizen-powered touchscreen on the upper door. On that touchscreen, you'll find this calendar sharing app, you'll find Pandora and TuneIn's internet radio. You'll be able to order groceries through Instacart and groceries by MasterCard. The thing I want you to check out, though, are these cameras on the inner flap of the door. These three cameras here snap a photo of your groceries every time you close the thing, and then if you pull up your phone, you can check that out at the store and see if you need more milk, or you can tap here on this view inside button to look at it on the screen. Now, in all honesty, I was pretty skeptical about those cameras when I first heard about them. Yeah, it might be helpful to pull out your phone and see if you need some ingredient when you're out of the store, but that's only gonna come in handy once or twice a year, right? But actually, it's the mode here on the screen that I really like. The reason is you can just easily pull down little markers here that tell you when your food is gonna expire. That's a handy way to keep track of stuff. You do have to keep things in the same spot on the shelf because those little markers won't follow your ingredients around if you move them, but still, it's a handy feature. I like it. The touchscreen also looks nice. It's got a good design, takes good advantage of all that real estate it's got. It's not as responsive as I'd like. It doesn't feel like using a high-end tablet. It feels a little more sluggish and generic. Typing on it isn't that comfortable. You have to be very precise. Considering that this fridge costs thousands more than the model that doesn't have a touchscreen, I wish that those controls felt a little more high-end. We'll have a lot more on this fridge fridge once we've had more time to get our hands on it and also do our performance test. So stay tuned for that in the coming weeks.